What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I got something kind of exciting. I'm going to be feeding my red tail catfish live saltwater shrimp. I should probably look up if that's okay or not, but I couldn't imagine why it wouldn't be, but I don't want to get flamed in the comments. So, can red tail catfish eat saltwater live shrimp? No, eat anything that fits in their mouth. They're not picky eaters. It's not unhealthy for them. So, you know what? I got this whole bucket. Let me show you guys. This entire thing. Let me use my flashlight. This whole thing. Oh my God. Imagine if I drop my camera. Jake and I went fishing today, but we got kind of skunked, so I'm just gonna chuck in one of these. And I don't know what's going on with the red tail, but I think he has that red something disease. I don't know, he's shedding though, but I looked it up and that's normal for red tail catfish, so I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed on that. Here's a little one right here. Hey, you wanna see it? Oh, he is uninterested. All right. Yeah, the freshwater shock kind of got to him. Dude, come on. Something literally just fell in front of your face, buddy. Catfish has no reaction to it. What? What is wrong with him? How? How is that possible? How is that possible? All right, guys. Um, I, I don't know what's wrong with them. My catfish is broken, it has herpes on its mouth. These guys are cool to watch though, so. These little guys are so dope. All right guys, so it's actually a few days later. As you saw in the last clip, the red tail catfish was not doing well, so I decided to shift my attention to that. And um, I've treated him so far and he's doing Way better already. Uh, must have been just like a little phase, but I treated him with some medicine, you know, all that stuff I did off camera. But today is a moment of truth. We're gonna see if he is willing to eat again because um, I forgot what the disease is, like red parasite or something. I did a water change and everything to fix it, but um, he actually lost his appetite, which is common for that disease. But here's some shrimp I threw in. See if he cares. Oh my gosh, he ate it. I am so proud. He literally had no appetite for days. Like I would put so many different kinds of foods in here and he just wouldn't eat it. Like everyone knows a red-tailed catfish, the second something moving drops in the water, they're gonna go for it. Hopefully he gets that other piece. Come on, buddy. Yep, he got it. All right, I'm sure if he was feeling better that day, he so would have eaten those Live shrimp, no problemo. I wasn't gonna turn this into a whole video, but I decided that I should at least update you guys on how the red tail catfish is doing because a lot of you guys are here for the red tail catfish and I don't mind at all. But yeah, as you saw, he's doing completely fine. Boom. He keeps on moving all the sand from this side up. Like every time I move it down because I don't like the glass bottom, he just goes, nah. I'm just gonna, you know. Anyways, yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update. The red tail catfish is doing good again. Uh, this was kind of an epic fail feeding him the live shrimp, but at least he ate some frozen shrimp. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're currently at 383 subscribers as of right now as while well, I'm making this video clip. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Join the family. We are almost at 400 subscribers. Also, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And also, finally, leave a big thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. Peace out. Stay wavy. My catfish is broken, it has herpes on its mouth.